Well, what is going on guys? It's time to jump back in to the F-150. It's been a little while since we've made a truck video. I know, it's been way too long, I know. However, today's video is not gonna be about the F-150. It's gonna be about another truck. And I promise we're gonna do more F-150 videos here soon. It's just that the truck is so new on the market, there's not really, you know, aftermarket parts out for it yet. So, we're on our way here to a local dealership in Pittsburgh. I was contacted by them and they're like, hey, we have this 900 horsepower Hennessy TRX. Do you wanna come check it out? So I was like, yeah. So it's gonna be pretty cool. I've never really been in a regular TRX either. This one has 200 more horsepower, so hopefully we get to take it out for a spin and see what a uh, truck with 900 horsepower is like. All right, here it is. Dude, this truck is the baddest truck I've ever seen. This thing is sick. Wow. So we're backing it up next to mine. Mine is lifted. I mean, this is a modified truck. This is a stock truck. Oh yeah, that's what they're supposed to sound like. Mine sounds like a baby truck next to this one. Dude, this thing is so sick. Wow. Yeah, by far the coolest truck you can buy out the box. Now granted, it has the Mammoth 900 package on it, you know, Hennessy's touch. Which I like that the, the badging is very kind of like subtle. You can hardly see it, but this thing, wow. This is sick. Holy sh Oh, we got some nice little suede here. Never mind the frickin' suede. It's got 900 horsepower. <laughs> but I do like the suede. Look at this. Nice to the touch. We've got a little TRX badging here. Big old screen. This one is like long. Mine is wide big. Wow. We gotta pop the hood. <laughs> so all you see is this big plastic cover here, but Hennessy puts their own little badging on their Mammoth 900, serial number 25. Pretty freaking cool, I gotta say. I mean, it just, it looks so good. I mean, look at this truck. Wow. I, just, I love the hood. It's so aggressive compared to mine. Now granted, my truck isn't like a Raptor or anything like that, but this is a regular hood. Here we got an aggressive one, man. I love this. Dodge knows what they're doing, man. I'm a Ford guy at heart, but Dodge, if I were ever to leave Ford, it's for Dodge. This thing is just nasty. Do an old fashioned little walk around here. 325, 65, 18s. Oh, yeah. What a badass truck, man. This thing is nasty. Our truck is very good looking, too, but it can't compare to this thing. Wow. Got little wide body fenders here. Ram bar looks nice. I'm assuming you can't have a tonneau cover if you have one of these, but whatever. All right, so we're gonna take it out on the road here. I mean, I'm excited. The, the, again, this is the coolest truck ever made. Uh, 702 stock from the factory. This one has 900. I could go through tons of stuff here uh, with the infotainment screen and all that, but I, I don't think that, you know, people watching this video, they don't really care about all that, but never mind. So it has a CF eight speed transmission. Uh, we have paddle shifters here. So we'll see how or what that's like here as soon as we get out on the road. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna put this camera down and turn the GoPro on. 900 freaking horsepower. Yeah. And I'm not even <laughs> doing anything. <laughs> oh, listen to that whine. Holy crap. Dude, this is so nasty. Yeah, yeah and 
see the difference here because in our Raptor, mm -hmm. which has the 10 speed, when you use the paddle shifter, it, t it takes so long for it to shift. This is actually pretty freaking responsive. <laughs> oh, it's just amazing. So which drive mode are we in now? Are we in sport? Uh, right now I think we're in sport. If you check out auto, you'll feel it just kind of softens up a bit. And then you can go with the left and right to go different oh, modes, gotcha. or okay. push it or hit the TRX button. And well, just... we want to be in sport. Now the graphic in my F-150 is good, but when you shift the different drive modes here, look at that. It's like an actual picture. It looks awesome. I'm impressed, man. Back to sport. Oh wow, there's cops in there. <laughs> but they're on the other side. <laughs> we're, we're friends with the old Robinson Police Force. <laughs> They would probably understand. You oh, know yeah. what I mean? What are you supposed to do when you drive a truck like this? That's when you might pull you over. <laughs> so the crappy thing is uh, that the truck only has 300 miles on it. So you have to wait till 500 until you can do a launch control. And I would love to do a launch control in this truck, but you just can't do it until it's an unlocked feature. The thing is, this truck is sold, and the owner, uh, who I don't even know who he is, he's letting me drive it. So, you know, we're taking it kind of easy. Uh, at least I've gotten to drive a uh, TRX for the first time, and not just a TRX. It's the Mammoth 900 one, and it's such a weird feeling to drive a big truck with this much power, because you're not used to having like this type of kick in your back from a truck. Supercars, yes, but not a truck. So, awesome experience for sure. Oh, the sound, man. This thing is just such a monster. I love it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's stock. They haven't even done anything to the exhaust. Yeah, Dodge does it right, man. They do it right. Just look at this thing. Sickest truck I've ever driven. Yeah, by far the coolest truck I've ever driven in my life. Best looking truck as well. So I, I want to give a special thanks to Deal Automotive here in Robinson and also the owner of uh, this Hennessy TRX. I don't even know who the guy is, but they checked in with him first, of course, before I came down here and he said okay for me to drive it. So huge thanks to him. I just think it's cool that you can still, in America, although the automotive industry is changing at a fast rate, that you can still buy a truck like a TRX or you know the upcoming Raptor R and then also get a Hennessy Mammoth 900. These type of vehicles, trucks, you know, Hellcats and Mustangs and all that stuff, the muscle car era is definitely dying out uh, the way that we know it. But still we probably have a year or two or three left where you can actually buy something like this. So I just think it's so super cool. If you guys follow my channel, you know how much I love this type of stuff. It was a little quicker video, not like a proper review or whatever, because we don't have much time, but uh, yeah, what an experience, man. I love this thing. It might not have been the most extensive um, review of a Hennessy TRX. We didn't have much time, like I said, but it was an absolutely awesome experience. Now, I love my truck, and we, ha we have some uh, the people helping us do stuff inside the house here, by the way, so that's not a new car on the channel. But my truck is, uh, I mean, it just doesn't compare to something like that. It's just absolutely awesome. Now, before we end here, of course, I have to remind you guys about the C63 giveaway that is going on. We only have, it's a little over two weeks left for you guys to enter. So if you haven't already and you want the possibility to win my C63, head on over to autoblog.com. We got a bunch of new cool merch. Every five bucks spent on the site is one entry to win the car behind me just look at that thing it is such a beast but i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did you know what to do give it a huge thumbs up if you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you want to please subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye